I am in my third trimester now, and there's quite a few things that still need to be done, probably mostly on Saya's side, just building the bookshelves and the window treatments. First trimester, we thought we were gonna lose this one um, because we, I had spotted for a month. And then the second trimester, my progesterone levels were just very low. And then before the third trimester, I was having contractions. But I really just wanna get stuff done, and I can now, and so I'm very grateful for that. Ta-da. it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It's Monday, November 22nd, and we have some like sort of updates about some of the witnesses for Josh Duggar's trial and a name that got brought up um, on a live stream of a couple people that were at the trial that posted this on Facebook. And incidentally, the woman actually reached out to me and I never had a chance to speak with her, but in her live stream, she uh, disclosed some of the witnesses that are slated to potentially be called by the prosecution in relation to Josh Duggar. So one of the things that came up was that Bobby Holt and Jim Bob Duggar would maybe be testifying to some of the things that Josh Duggar had confessed to doing to some girls back in 2002 and 2003. And Bobby Holt, by the... Uh, prosecution's admission is under a subpoena and they were planning to subpoena Jim Bob Duggar as well to statements that he had made both publicly and uh, acknowledging that Josh had confessed to him. It's also listed in the police report that Josh had confessed to him as well. But a new name came up and that name is Dwayne Swanson. And then right after news breaks that Dwayne Swanson could potentially be a witness for Josh Duggar's uh, the prosecution in this case, Josiah and Lauren suddenly have deleted literally everything on their Instagram except for six photos. Six photos, okay? Six photos. And this has a lot of people thinking, okay, did they split up? What is going on here? Is this, they're doing this ahead of trial? Are Josiah potentially, is he a witness? Is what's going on? Why, why are they deleting all their photos? First, they had deleted all of their photos of Bella. Now they've literally deleted like their wedding photos, their uh, marriage announcements, their wedding, uh, their birth announcements, like literally their courtship stuff, like all of it is done except for one post that was made by Josiah. All the posts that Lauren had posted on this joint page are gone. And people are wondering, okay, did they split up or are they trying to protect themselves? What is going on here? Well, listen, I don't know about a split because Dwayne Swanson was literally just at the Duggars house last week. He attended uh, Jim Duggars event for Senate. Jim Bob had a bunch of his friends over uh, last Tuesday night, uh, a couple days before the pretrial hearing, Dwayne was in the crowd and he was there to support jo uh, Jim Bob. And Dwayne actually has been a close friend and confidant of Jim Bob Duggars for years. So on Tuesday night, Jim Bob said that he was going to have a bunch of people over and he was like using this as a means. Over 200 people, he said, came to his house, which in fairness, is, with the Fundy's families, that's like three families. So Jim Bob has a bunch of people over, Dwayne is there, but then on Thursday in court, apparently it's revealed that Dwayne Swanson is going to be a, could be a witness. Now I have to preface this, that just because they say that someone could be a witness doesn't mean they will actually be called as a witness. It depends on what parts of the, what is allowed in this case, right? So if Dwayne has information about the car lot, if Dwayne knows if someone was not at the car lot, if Dwayne is an alibi for someone, if Dwayne is an alibi, say for Josiah, if Dwayne um, can testify about things or conversations that Josh, he's had with Josh about the car lot, that might be privy. But if Dwayne has had counsels with Josh about say, his addictions to online activity, we've already learned that that cannot be used in court. So previous statements that Josh has made about his propensity to go online and look at content is not going to be admissible. This gets into an interesting place because Dwayne Swanson is a pastor and he runs a men's group, okay? 
And the men's group isn't like one-on-one counseling. They do, from what I'm told, and I spoke to a source that knows Dwayne, knows the Duggars, uh, what Dwayne does is he does events a couple times a year. And what they do is they, you know, have these men's like conferences, couple like weekends, and he talks to men about being a good husband, a good father, a good Christian leader, that kind of stuff. Uh, but it's not necessarily like one-on-one counseling. So he's not like sitting down with a man and talking through his indiscretions or the problems or the struggles that they're having. But because of his close relationship with Jim Bob, I was told that Jim Bob may have allowed used Dwayne to come in to counsel some of his sons. It's been well noted by multiple sources that I've talked to that Jim Bob has this belief that he obviously doesn't have to go to authorities when things are happening in his house. And instead he relies on elders at the church or people that have experience in various ministries and will often have his boys sit down with friends, confidants that he trusts to speak to about what's going on in their lives. So when I spoke to someone about Dwayne and the potential of a witness for the prosecution. What this person said was that Dwayne is going to be extremely unlikely to say anything negative about Jim Bob Duggar because he's very close friends with Jim Bob. And that he was someone that when he met Jim Bob didn't have a lot of money and Jim Bob kind of took Dwayne under his wings and taught him a lot about you know financial management and business and today, uh, Dwayne Swanson is apparently like a multimillionaire um, because of what he learned from Jim Bob Duggar. And so he has a lot to be thankful for. Now, in regards to what Dwayne might know about Josh and whether he might say something negative about Josh, that they didn't know. They said it's not like he's going to go on the prosecution stand and uh, throw Jim Bob on, under the bus. And if he did, they said they would be surprised. But they wouldn't be surprised if Jim Bob, say, might have brought Dwayne in to speak with the boys or Josh at some point. And apparently Dwayne is close. And so he would be someone that Jim Bob would say, yeah, can you come in? And apparently he has a very like big personality, big ego, uh, very self-assured, self-confident, and would be the kind of person that could be a good like leader to a man or a uh, good director of someone to like give somebody, you know, a pep talk kind of thing. So the belief is, the speculation I should say, is that maybe when something was going on with Josh, Jim Bob had Dwayne come in and speak with him. And Dwayne is around a lot too. So in fairness, Josh could have approached Dwayne himself. Dwayne is someone that's goes to the IBLP. He's a frequent speaker at the conferences. He does these men's conferences, which the Duggar boys all go to. So this could be someone that Josh over the years too has sort of confided in or has become friendly with. Josh is around a lot of godly men that his dad brings into his life. And it's it's kind of like no different than LeCount Reber or um, when Jim and uh, Bobby Holt, for instance, were in their lives from years ago. Bobby Holt apparently is going to testify uh, that she was con- that Josh confessed to her uh, that he did something to a girl. And my guess is that because of the relationship, Jim and Bobby w- were very close to Michelle and Jim Bob. Jim and uh, Jim Holt and Jim Bob Duggar apparently grew up together. And so I'm guessing they came in as and they were elders of a church together with the Duggars. And I'm guessing so they came in sort of as like friends and confidants and maybe Bobby help Josh and maybe Bobby was just kind of counseling Josh I don't know but she is under subpoena and apparently has information so Josh at some point felt comfortable enough with Bobby apparently to tell her things about what was going on in his life my next question is did Jim Bob do something similar with Dwayne Dwayne has this men's ministry where he you know talks about empowering men empowering fathers so was Dwayne brought in to sort of maybe speak to Josh and befriend Josh maybe mentor Josh Maybe. Now, will he be called? That I don't know. Right now, as far as the 29th, the discussion was about Bobby Holt and about Jim Bob Duggar. And obviously, we know there's other witnesses, uh, former employees. There'll be uh, Matthew Waller. There'll be Randall Berry. William Mize could potentially be called as a witness. 
Joshua Williams, potentially Caleb Williams. And there could be a lot of different witnesses that are called here. We just don't at this point know what. The employees are likely to be called and they'll likely go through where they were, what they were doing, when they worked, that kind of stuff. So with Dwayne, suddenly his name sort of becoming in the sphere of the world, suddenly all of the photographs of Lauren are removed from social media on the Josiah and Laura's page. Now, I will say that Josiah and Lauren were spotted in a photograph with uh, at the pumpkin patch back in September. And then over this weekend, Lauren was in a, in a wedding for Hannah Reber. And she was standing next to Josie Duggar in the, in the line. So Hannah Reber, who's the guardian of Josh, uh, their daughter, he got married to Anna's brother, David Keller. And at the wedding, um, Lauren was a, was a bridesmaid, yeah, <laughs> for Hannah Reber. I had no idea they even knew each other. And then Josie Duggar was also one, probably like a junior's bride, junior bridesmaid. So Lauren was at this event and she seemingly, I'm assuming, was with Josiah. And I've checked records. There's not like, there's no divorce here. Uh, I've talked to multiple people. Nobody's heard a word about Josiah and Lauren potentially being split up. My guess could be is that they might be getting some exposure because of the trial. I wouldn't be surprised if maybe Josiah were to show up on a witness list. I'm just saying uh, Josiah has his own wild background and uh, he has also, he works construction, but he's done stuff with cars in the past. And he seems to be like the kind of brother that you would want to blame for things, if you know what I mean. So Josiah, but if Dwayne is going to be testifying potentially as for the prosecution, the exposure for Lauren then being that people already don't like Lauren and they blame Lauren and they bully Lauren and they're mean to Lauren because of her miscarriage or because they don't think she fits in. I mean, the fans have been horrid to Lauren, which makes me feel really sad because Lauren, from every single person I've talked to privately and all of the different sources, everyone says that she is super sweet, very quiet, very not interested in the fame component, um, never wanted the fame aspect of this, has bristled at the fame component of this, very different, I'm told, from the rest of the Duggars, not really into the whole hype of being in the spotlight. Her retreating doesn't surprise anyone that I've talked to because she didn't want that really to begin with. She just wanted to marry Josiah. They also were not in the final special of the Duggars. And they, you know, I think for a lot of people, you've noticed that they just don't post on social media. So they've also turned off comments, which again, I think has to do with exposure. So I think the reason why is because maybe Dwayne is going to be testifying. Maybe Dwayne is going to be testifying against Josh and maybe Duggar fans who have been long defending Josh, defending Josh, defending Jim Bob, defending the Duggars could see Lauren as the scapegoat for retaliation and to attack. That's just my impression here. So I don't know for sure. But again, everyone I've spoken to says very doubtful that Josiah and Lauren have split up. More probable that if Dwayne is testifying, Lauren doesn't want to be attacked online. So removing her photographs, removing all of that from her page, disabling comments, so when stuff does come out, they can't go after her. Who knows if Josh's defense is going to try to throw someone under the bus like Josiah. I've already been told there's somebody in the mix that they're going to throw under the bus, but I'll get to that in another video. So today, this is where we're at. Lauren and Josiah have literally removed every photo off their Instagram, which is weird because it's still on their Facebook page, their fan page, but not on their Instagram. Disabling comments and... Dwayne Swanson is likely to be, could be called as a witness for the prosecution. So what does Dwayne know? And does this impact Dwayne and J Jim Bob's relationship? I don't know. He was just at the Duggars like a couple, a week ago. And what does this mean for Josiah and Lauren for the future? And will Dwayne's testimony be something that could nail John, Josh down? I'd love to know what your thoughts are about this. Tell me in the comments below. Bye, guys.